Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrap and Irish um, video. So as you can see from this, you can always see the top is off this because this is something I just came across that I had in the shed. And it's only since I got the new work outside area that I can work outside. I've started taking stuff out of the shed and I forgot about this. This was given to me a long time ago. And it was something I said I'd do a video on at some stage because it looks like it's a fairly old device by looking at it. If we zoom in a bit. So it looks like it's um, fairly old, especially when you see at the back here, you see the old type uh, tantalums and stuff on it. So that's what makes me think it's a it's a very old device. It's um, it's made by if I can zoom out again, I will move you slightly so you can actually see. Um, so if any of you guys recognise the brand name. I'll try and get you better. There we go. See where the focus. It's trying its best. Maybe if I put my finger down there or something, she might focus on my hand. Not too much. So we'll have to go out a bit and let it try and focus. So it's called, it looks like a uh, Tele X Per. Uh, model number VS166ENG England, I hope. Because usually then it would mean there's a lot, some nice stuff on it. So I am um, going position you guys again so we can get a look here. So I'm going to um, take it apart essentially. So there's not much to be done to take it apart because I've already taken um, more, the top was already off it. So um, it should make it a little bit easier to take apart. I just need to get the right screwdrivers, of course. That'll be the, the main issue. So, so that's too small. I have all my screwdrivers here beside me, but probably not the one I want. Yeah, that one might work. So we'll see when it fit in. No, too big. Uh, this one probably. Okay, so that just fits in. So I'm just going to screw this out. Um, We've got to look at the board first. It's the backboard and more interesting with all them old type tantalums and stuff like that. I say this was a good while out in the shed and I hadn't, I forgot about it because it's buried under a rake of other stuff and now that I ha can bring stuff outside and work on stuff outside, I came across this and I said, I meant to do a video on this at some stage. So why not now? Um, we've got some nice looking cards here. If I can get into them. Was a put out this one first, I suppose. The one that's can you see that you can, guys? I hope so. We've got some nice looking gold pins on it, and um, I'm just plugging out anything I see that's plugged in. I'll just go the other side of it. So, hopefully, we can get into this. in here that's holding everything but we should be able to get to them and then once we get them out we should be able to get the card out like that so we can get a better look at this card so it's a nice looking card at the start anyway it looks okay another pin down here this one is kind of damaged so there we go um, and we're here. Okay, so we gotta look at this card first. So um nice looking card, some nice pins, we can see a lot of gold pins on it, nice um flat packs, and then we have a chunk here. There we go. So again we should be expecting some um Nice gold inside of them. Then we have our crystal oscillators, but they're on like a like a flat aluminium as well, part of it. So that's strange, I've come across that before. And then we have our gold fingers. And again, we'll have a little bit of gold up here 
So not too bad of a card for a start. Now let's see if we can get the second card out. Um, okay, we've got a screw holding it in over here. Again, just remove what we can. There we go, there's like a, an epoxy resin stuck to it to hold it in place to stop it moving around. So it bent the um, pins as I was taking it out, but it was not like a card I was going to use. So a nice big MCC, I think, wrote on it. Um, on it, so that's a nice chunky one, nice big chunky uh, crystal oscillator. Uh, again, Gold fingers, nice, you can actually feel them, so they're nice thick gold that's on them. And um, that's a lot of IC chips and flat packs. And on the other side, again, nothing on that. So, not too bad, not too, not too disappointed with that. Um, let's see what we have in here. So again, next thing I'm gonna try and do is get the board out, so we're going to, again, try and remove as many of the Cables as I can possibly get removed. Some of them are quite well stuck in here. And then an epoxy on them again to try and hold them in place, so it does make it a little bit tougher to pull them out. So anywhere I can see that I can try and get it out, I will. And again, there's Epoxy down here, it seems to be causing a bit of trouble. So what I might do is, I might pause it there for a second until I get it turned around so I can get a better look at it. Well, I'll turn it anyhow. So I might need to start removing some of these screws. Um, so while I remove the screws that are holding this in here, very magnetic along here so that's stronger magnet here so there's something inside of here that's causing it to be magnetic um, so yeah I'm going to remove all these screws along the top here so that I can get access to it and then we'll be ready to um, see what was inside okay guys so um, I've got the screws removed from the front panel so we should be able to hopefully lift that off like that so again we can see a lot of cables in here that need to be disconnected so we'll try and do that if we can but again they have some of them are screwed in okay they're on bolts down there so I can't get them and some of them are screwed in here from the top so they definitely didn't want you taking these out too easy which is strange I never came across any that were screwed in like this but again, I don't know what this device was for. Um, looks like there's a nice bit of brass there. So if I can get this one in under here. Again. A lot of cables, if I can either disconnect them from here or disconnect them from there. I just want to try and remove this panel if I can. There we go. So that's actually pulled out all them gold pins. So we'll have to take them out. So we'll just get a closer look at them. So they're nice looking gold pins. A lot better than what you see on a lot of the newer computers. So quite happy with that find straight away. And we have another one. So same thing again. I'm going to have to try and break it out because it's screwed in. So I've never come across that. But again, it's the first time I've ever taken one of these apart. So well, actually screw this one out. And that should give me access into the board, hopefully. And I want to see what kind of CPU is in it. Um, it'll give us an idea of the age of it, I suppose, once we get the CPU out. So even when I've taken that screw out, I still have another one who doesn't want to give up. I 
talk among yourselves there guys while we remove this one there we go so hopefully that should okay let's release it and we're left with one more to go which is screwed in over here so it's in an awkward spot a lot of very awkward stuff on this one i wouldn't like to be having to repair anything at the time on it it would have been a bit of hard work so which one is holding is this one here but i've everything pulled out there we go we'll just go like that easiest way and then we'll just have some sockets over here that's holding a few things in so my god this one is really putting up a fight here we go so hopefully we can get one more over here so again they're not gold pins, they're just silvery sort of pins, so we we'll move back in there. And if we can pull this bunch of cable out. This is really, really putting up a fight. Doesn't have one to go. I suppose if we get a um, thing and just cut the ends off them. Maybe the easiest way of all, I suppose, if we are, we can just try and move one out at a time. So let's say we go like that, get them through. So then the next one down here comes through. Okay, we're through now, so we're getting there. And we didn't even have to resort to cotton. Okay, so we'll put that aside for a second because. That's going to take a bit of um, screwing apart to get the right look at it. So this is what I wanted to get into was this board. So again, there's a few old pins broken. Um, I just want to see where we're still screwed. Literally. Uh, uh -huh. So somewhere around here we have a hidden screw. It could be on the other side of it going in through it because I don't see it here. Let me check the back side. Uh, yeah, there, mm, something there was not a screw. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it there for a second till I find the screw and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've managed to get the screw that was hiding um, out of it so we can get a closer look at the board. So looking at it, it's just a fairly basic board actually. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, we have some gold pins in here, 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 some more along here, some more along here. Um, gold corner BGA chip, I'll check and see what's under that in a second. Some more of the um, IMA, not IMA, see, flat packs, um, IC chips. And on the rear end, uh, nothing of value there at all. So then we're going to have a look under this processor. So this has to pop off next. So let me see what we can get to pop him off. Um, and he doesn't look like he's going to go too easy, but oh, he did. So, okay, so we have, let's take him out. At least he's going to have pins on him. By the looks of him. If we can get this to move out for me, but again, a lot of this stuff doesn't want to move because it's been there for a while. So we'll just have to force them again. There we go. So. Okay, so there's some nice gold pins there, guys. Um, and it is a Intel. Um, if you can see there, guys. Made in the Philippines, zero one. Okay, so put him aside and we'll see if we can flick him, break this off here and see what sort of. So, again, underneath him, 
another nice gold cornered BGA chip. So you would have seen in videos where I've worked with them on the, the fibre part and haven't done the black caps yet. So I'll take these off and again the black caps will be put in with the black caps and doing them and start another collecting another load of fibres for again for when I'll be ready to do another lot of them. Um so that's about it on that board. So at the same time I took apart the um the one that was on the back while we were off camera. So it give me a bit easier access into it. So what have we got? On this we have a lot of these these are like um ceramic capacitors, um MLCCs essentially as far as I know. So again, they'll be taken off. And these are the older type ones. So these are the ones that should really have the uh, platinums, the silvers and stuff like that in them. Um, so that I like to find them type. Um, we have the gold pins. So they're there and there. Um, and again, inside of each one of these is a gold wire running down through the center. So again, not too bad. Um, anytime we can find a bit of gold, I like that. Um, what else do I want to show you off this guys? Oh yeah. So then on the back part, I just need to remove these to take off these pins. But this is the pins I pulled out. So as you can see, they're nice gold pins. So that should be the same on that side. And I'm hoping for the same in there and here. Again, there's good gold connectors here. So we have some nice gold connectors here. And again, if I pull him off, there should be gold connectors under there. Um, actually they're they're not gold connectors, they're silvery colour. So gold here and um, we have the gold pins. So they're nice gold pins. They're a lot better the quality than what would normally be on any of the um, the sort of newer newer ribbons. So we'll take them out and they'll be put in with the next time I'm doing some gold pins in nitric acid or whatever this way I decide to do it. Again, these ribbons I'm hoping will have better gold pins than the normal ones because they seem to be a bit higher quality even looking at them and the same here because you can even see by looking in here you can see the gold a lot better so I'm expecting better gold pins inside of both of them cables and um, even inside the likes of the small ones I'm expecting better gold connectors than normal it seems to be that this device has, has better ones but we'll see might as well pull one off if we can We'll have a quick look at it. So let's have a look at it and see if it's any good. Um, so no, not much better than what's normally on them, to be honest. Um, so I suspect them better from them, just gold tips on them, that's it. So Nothing major, won't be worrying too much about them. So that's it guys. So a nice little processor, a couple of um, gold corner BGAs, a couple of cards in it, um, the older type um, ceramic um, MLCCs, ceramic capacitors essentially. Um, gold pins look to be fairly decent on it and again the inside of this socket the gold should be a lot better than the older type ones or the newer type ones sorry these older ones should be better so again i should be expecting to get a lot better gold recovery from them than you would normally from the sockets again a lot of people won't bother with them i do anything that has gold it's a hobby for me so i'll take it off um so i like that I like to get it got a little fan bit of electrical cable um so that's it for this device so if anyone knows what this device would have been used for um my taken is because of all these connectors on the back it was some sort of like input for security cameras again and um, so this could come off a security system of some sort um, so that's what I'm thinking I think I might have got that from my security guy at some stage but um, not 100% sure but that's it guys um, for it we'll have a look at the front actually might give it away we didn't actually look at the front did we Again, doesn't say, just says Tele X pair. Um, and that was just a door into it. Uh, you had a reset button, USBs. So, not really sure, guys. I didn't bother taking the fan off. Um, this is going to shred the rest of it. And um, that's it. So, guys, thanks for watching. And um, 
If you feel like it, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, why not hit that subscribe button? Cheers, guys, and um, catch you on the next one.